Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> we went to go see a movie. We went to go see a movie. <laughs> Nobody in the theater pissed us off. There was a little irritation here and there. Oh, but... okay. What with what? With what? Oh, uh, well, first of all, I, I I don't know what's wrong with my nose. Uh. I hate the smell of theater popcorn. Oh. It smells disgusting to me. Oh. And it was everywhere. We had a fairly packed house. Yeah, which, which was, was cool. nice. Was which awesome. is really nice to see. Yeah. Um, this is the second day for opening weekend. And for a movie like John Wick, for the little movie that could, yeah. that came out a couple years yeah. ago, almost 10 years it's ago. It's a sleeper hit. Yeah. Almost 10 mm -hmm. years ago now. Yeah. Um, you like to see a movie like this succeed. Yes. For a franchise that we love, it's yes. nice to see that it's getting love and recognition, especially with the people that are in this fourth film of yeah. this franchise. Yeah, it's pretty packed in there. Um, yeah. there especially of, for an early show. Quite a handful of little kids in this rated R yeah. movie. And they were sitting right next to me. Oh, that's what was bugging and me. Okay. they were having conversations with their mother. And they kept getting up and walking out of the theater and coming back in. Right. But oh, okay. They were being as quiet as little kids could be. I've, right. I've sat through worse during Marvel films. You could have had crying babies. Yes. Where parents refused to take them out of the theater. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it could have been a lot yeah, worse, but, uh, the, you know, lots of little conversations, lots of cell phones may, popping up. Maybe don't bring your itty bitties to an almost three hour movie. Rated R film. So, so yeah, we went to see John Wick 4. Yo, yo. Um, so, for life. And this is spoiler free. Fresh spoiler out free. Of the theater. So uh, we, last weekend. No spoilers. Yeah. Last weekend. Uh, last Sunday? Yes. Uh, yeah. We had a John Wickathon. Yes, yes. We watched all three films yeah. in 4K. Had a blast. Um. And it was nice to, to kind of have that as a refresher, yeah. as a reframing, a reminder of everything, kind of put all the movies and the story in perspective, yeah. not just as a refresher for where the where the story is, but also as kind of a as a, 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 a refresher for us also in terms of where we rank the films, because right, right, right. we had only seen the third film once. Yes. We had seen it once in the theater, mm -hmm. and for some reason, we were kind of iffy on where two and three stood. Right. And it was kind of interesting re-watching the third movie, because right. we both kind of had the, at the same... At the time, three was my favorite. Right. We both yeah. had the same reaction watch re-watching the third film, where we ended up really loving two, like, yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. And when we watched three, we were like... There's a lot of good qualities in three. Sometimes you just three's gotta, still great. Sometimes you just got to cut a motherfucker. One of the <laughs> best lines in any film. Fight me. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of great Fish. moments. There was a lot of great moments in three. Yeah. But in the words of the immortal George Lucas, I think they may have gone a little too far in some places. Right. And and you could say that about this movie it's too. Very true. <laughs> but what I was, what I was yeah. hoping for, yeah, yeah, yeah. my my biggest hope yeah, coming yeah. out coming out of three, yeah. going into four, was that they would somehow marry two and three. They, and that's exactly what they did. And yes. I am I am so pleased, yes. especially there was such high, high, impossibly high. High, high table expectations. Such impossibly high expectations yeah. oh, going yeah. into this with the cast alone. Yeah. You've got Marco Zoror. Yeah, man. You've got... Scott Atkins. It seemed like the every time they would announce a new name, we were like Henry Sonata. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By yeah, the yeah. time they announced Donnie Yen, we were like, "You're running out of names." <laughs> and then it's like, "Wait a minute! They're coming out with the fifth one. You've run out of people. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. Where, where, where do you go from right, here?" Right, right, right. Um, so it was, it was such high expectations. Yeah. That it was like going into this, it's like I may, I may want to temper my. Right. My hopes and my dreams for this movie just a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I think they struck that nice little tone where yeah, there's still some moments that are a bit over the top, of course, because right. by this point, you go from the first <laughs> one where it's this very simple, very very easy to follow story, yeah, where it's it's you know, very short, sweet, and to the point. And then you come here and it's like, whoa, we're, we're getting hit by 12 cars. <laughs> but it's the suit. It's the Kevlar it's the, line suit. It's the suit. Kevlar suit, man. Um, so there are moments, and I mentioned this on my last live q and I was briefly kind of talking about this already, um, um, that one of the reasons that kind of made me like, uh, as much as I love 3 and I still enjoy 3 for what it is, 
when he gets thrown off the top of the goddamn building. The continental. <laughs> the yes. t- top of a building. Yes. The roof. Yes. And he hits, he bounces off of 8,000 things before he lands. That's where I'm like, okay, come on. Like, I can suspend my disbelief. You have over the, there. there's over the top moments in this mm. that the audience reactions were hilarious. Yeah. The audience reactions were like, whoa, like there's some crazy shit. So you do get some crazy over the top, okay, he should be dead moments. Mm. Uh, but I was enjoying myself and having so much fun that I kind of forgave it. Right. But we, as extreme as some things happen, no spoilers, to certain characters, it's still not as bad as getting thrown off the top of the goddamn building. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's some crazy shit in here. Yeah. Um, but. I, you know, I was enjoying myself so much that I forgave, I, for, I forgave the video game character moments. Uh, but, but, Jesus Christ, the, the action. Yeah. The action, the martial arts sequences. I mean, I think I, it, it th- this has to blow away everything else. Like, like we were There's talking There's no about- comparison. We, we had a hard the time. action in this movie destroys everything yeah. that we've seen in the John Wick franchise already. Like you were saying, like everybody had a time to shine. We had characters that showed up that I was worried about for a yeah. second when they showed up. Yeah. Because um, I didn't know. Well, everybody knows who's in this. Because Scott Atkins no, no, no. shines. But it wasn't just, Marcus it wasn't just shines. the hitters, though. There, yeah. were, there were two characters in particular. Sonata. There were two characters Daniel. that showed up yeah. that because um, I didn't know who they were. Um, I didn't know who the actors were. I didn't recognize them. Mm. And they were... One was a secondary character. One ended up being a a major character. Mm. And I didn't know what to make of them at first. Because, again, one one of my points of contention in 3... And I do believe I mentioned this in our review of John Wick 3. I hated Halle Berry's character. Mm -hmm. And I hated the character of the Agitator. Um, They irritated the hell out of me. I thought the Mm -hmm. Agitator was a terrible actress. And I thought Halle Berry was woefully miscast and I thought she sounded like a pouting child every time she said her dialogue. Mm. Halle Berry acts when she thinks there's an Oscar involved and if she, if not, <laughs> she's just there for the paycheck uh-huh. and I thought she was just there for the paycheck. I know she worked hard for the stunts, yeah. but that's not the problem I had with her. I had a problem every time she opened her mouth in that movie. Mm. And in this movie... We didn't have Halle Berry. We didn't have the Agitator. Holla fucking new. I did. It was like, thank you, God. And yeah. um, so when these other two characters that showed up, uh-huh. I was like, oh no, who are they? I don't recognize them. And I was a little worried about them at first. Mm. But when they started becoming more part of the plot and they started fighting more, I was like, oh, okay, we're we're doing something useful with them. I'm fine with them. I, I take it back. Mm. I'm cool. Nobody irritated me in this movie. Yep. Not yep. one person I had a problem with, even with the mm-hmm. ones that I thought I was going to at first. Um, Skarsgård played a perfect, irritating, mm-hmm. foppish little mm-hmm. weasel. Yeah. Um, he was great. Clancy, love you. Mwah. <laughs> Chef's kiss. He was a nice little addition. Little bonus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice little addition. Yeah. Um, Lance, you, you know, I love you. Yeah. It's, it's sad to see you go. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah. Obviously, we, we can't have you in the franchise anymore. It's yeah, it sucks. It's a shame. Yeah, um, we will miss him. Though. Yeah, um, this movie again. It did the thing that I wanted it to do. We had a little bit more of an expansion this time. We go to mm-hmm. Japan, obviously, yeah. or before we you know we went to various parts of the world. This time we're going to the continental in Osaka. Yeah, um, that's not a big spoiler because Sonata's in it. Yeah, yeah, obviously uh, we're gonna, they, they obviously know. we're gonna go to Japan. Yeah, yeah. Sonata's in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, we had some great moments of something that they didn't really successfully do in three, with the uh, oh Halle Berry and John Wick's character had history. John Wick has history with characters in this movie, and I thought they did it a little bit better. They for did some it a reason. lot better. Um, they did it a lot better because the audience reacted to a few things. If the audience, re- the, 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 the short amount of time certain characters are on screen, yeah. and then something happens, and the audience reacts, yeah, that means they did a good job. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, you know, in case you don't know, um, stay for the end credits. Yes. Yeah. A little, 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 little bonus. Yeah, and it's, it's well set up in the movie, too. Yes. And yes. It's, yes. it's blinking, you'll miss it, you know. Don't don't chew too loud on your popcorn, or you won't hear the line. But yeah. it's set up in the movie, so. Yeah. Uh, but it's fucking it, bad. It's what you want in a sequel. It's, it's an badass, guys. It's an improvement. It scratches 
the action itch, baby. I've got to say this. Um, I'm on a poster. I'm on a movie poster. Who the fuck is calling right now? Dude, fuck, fuck off. you. Fuck off, spam. <laughs> Jesus, can we do a fucking movie no. review with peace around here? Yeah. Um, I've got to say this. You know, early on in the movie, I had this random thought in my head. Um, and I, I don't usually, you know, think like this, but it's it's so nice. And you were kind of saying something similar like this mm. just a few minutes ago. Yeah. It's so nice yeah. from an American perspective mm -hmm. because for so long I've always felt a little embarrassed by our action movies as mm -hmm. of the past couple of decades mm -hmm. especially when it came to fight sequences in action movies mm -hmm. yeah. because our fight sequences in American cinema tend to be trash or filmed badly that's what I'm saying yes they're yes. they're they're not all the time they're but yes they tend to be yeah. embarrassing when right. you compare them to Hong Kong old school movies, when you right. compare them to Indonesian movies, right. when you compare them to Korean movies, right. even right. Japanese movies, mm -hmm. when they're when they're fight centric focused, right. they've been embarrassing. Like, and like, some the, people, like the Taken sequels, some that people, meme, that meme really kept some, showing them. Yeah. 30 cuts just yeah. to jump over the fence. Some people might argue, yeah. oh, what about the Bourne franchise? No, fuck you. I, I, the movies are good, but the fight sequences, when they got more into the the, front, the sequels. If you, they if, were unwatchable. If they you, were unfucking watchable. If you like shaky cam and if, disorienting, if you fight don't sequences, notice it, you're fine. Because <laughs> that's OGP's favorite action franchise. Sorry, OGP. But if you don't, if you don't notice it, you're fine. But when you when you start analyzing stuff like we do, it's hard to ignore. And, but it's, but we but luckily for the Bourne franchise, one to three, two and three is the. You, the, the fight scenes in one weren't filmed that bad. Two and three is when you try to do a realistic thing. It gives me a migraine. Right. The movies are at least Paul good, Greengrass. But the, That's the, the way... only reason why we like the, the, the franchise. Fuck the fourth film. Yeah. That's the only reason we like the franchise is because the movies and the characters are good. Yeah. We forgive everything else. But, but, but when it comes to the action movies, yeah. fight sequences have always been more like an afterthought and nobody really cares about them. Yes. And... It's Again, true. Nobody yeah. notices because we've been trained to not give a shit. Mm -hmm. That's why you get three different fights edited together from three different, you know, two groups of people are fighting at the same time. Oh, we'll just edit them together because people think that's more interesting. And then, oh, you've got one fight sequence, cut it up 50 different ways and edit yeah. it 50 different times so that right. people don't get bored. Mm -hmm. And that's why when you get an American audience member watching an old samurai film from the 50s or 60s, right. and it's a duel, and it's supposed to be the tension and the fight before yeah. the lead up, before the strike, and someone's yelling, God, get on with it, this is boring, <laughs> when they don't realize that it's storytelling. Right. You know, right. that kind of shit, it's embarrassing. Yeah. That we've never, we just don't seem to care about stuff like this. Yeah, once like in a have while, a movie yeah, like yeah. the John Wick franchise come along and say, "Hey, American filmmakers, we can give a shit. Yeah, we can yeah. produce stuff like this. It can be done. Yes, and it, it can improve over time." I cannot express to you without spoiling it how much the the, the camera work, how good the camera work in this movie is. There's there's a sequence that occurs later on in this movie where I was mm. sitting here going, this is fucking beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, You'll know it when it happens. Yeah. It's, Please it's, see this movie in a theater with great sound. Oh, with great sound. We, we Please did, we see did not, it with good sound. We did not. We didn't tell you guys when we when we saw Scream Six. We forgot to yeah, mention we forgot, yeah. how bad the sound was in Scream. And this 6. is from a theater we usually go to, but for some reason Scream Six sound was fucking horrible. Like, I didn't care because I it didn't was, care about the movie anyway, yeah, but yeah. even I noticed it's like, whoa, it was bad. whoa, are, are yeah. we streaming this so off a peacock? See, see this? Yeah. Good sound. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, mm. It's worth the money. Had, I want a poster. Yeah. It's uh, phenomenal. Fights, I action. I can't gush over it's this just enough. It's just stunts, everything. I'm so it's happy. So good. Yeah. I'm so happy with this movie. Yeah. Um, this is another 4K purchase. Uh, my only nitpick... The, the 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 franchise does seem to have an increasing green screen problem. Right, right. right. Um, There's moments, three, yeah. three had a, an egregious problem with it. Yeah, the motorcycle sequence. That's all I and saw the was horse, the green screen and the, the horse whole chase time. Sequence, the horse chase sequence, yeah. too. It's um, in here, but the sequence where you notice it, it's not. it doesn't bother me as much it's, as it's the motorcycle show, scene. It's, it's going to show on 4K. Because when you see what they do, yeah. when you see the entire ambitious spectrum yeah. of what 
type of action sequence are put together. Yeah. And how complicated it is. And that's, you can forgive a little green screen. That's the thing, though, that the scene was yeah. so ambitious and yeah. so fun that it was it was forgivable. Peace to resistance. There was an unexpected, adorable warrior's homage. Yeah. You'll hear it. Adorable. Two, two things happen. Like, you'll you'll hear it. Absolutely adorable. Yeah. It's like, where did this yeah. come more, from? More bonuses for us. Yes. More bonuses. So, uh, please. Uh, if you haven't gone already, yeah, go. So as of right now, of course this could change later after a rewatch. I want to see this in the theater again, but as of right now, this is my favorite. This is my favorite movie in the franchise. We're pretty high right now. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> We're high so, off of a movie. It can't yes. happen. Yeah. So, but yeah, go see it. Make sure you guys check it out. Phenomenal. Uh, was there anything else before we wrap it up for today? Uh, I, I kind of wish it had ended here. No spoilers. No. <laughs> I know I probably said that in the third one, but this one, I wish it had ended with four. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts on it. So, But yeah, go see it. Enjoy yourselves. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. And don't bring your little three-year-old to <laughs> go see the movie. <laughs> and this did not feel its length to us. Mm. I'm sure the people will be different. Uh, this did not feel its length. But yeah. Uh, we get some dream matches, mm -hmm. and uh, just it's just too much to talk about. So, go see it. Thanks again for supporting the channel. You guys rock. We'll see you on the next one.